So in the High on Life DLC, High on Knife, you will notice that Kenny has been removed. And there's a few different parts in the DLC that explains why he got removed. The first part will be in the very beginning when Jean flicks on the TV after he tells us to go turn on our bounty. But instead of rushing and going to do that, check this out. Here's what comes up on the TV. Now go turn in your bounty at the Bounty 5000. In other news, it's the two-year anniversary of the day a fearless human bounty hunter teamed up with a band of motley Gadlians to take down the entire G3 cartel. If you're not familiar with the story somehow, I can recap it for you now. I feel like you should all be familiar with it, though, since it was a big deal. But here we go. The G3 cartel, led by Garmantuous, discovered that humans, the inhabitants of Earth, were a potent living drug. So they captured all the humans and started selling them on the black market. But one of them escaped with their sister, met some washed up old bounty hunter named Gene Zaruthian and learned how to fight, yada yada yada, they saved the day, Garmantuous is dead, Earth is now a safe haven for humans and Gadlians, the bounty hunter's sister is MIA, and they lost one of their guns. Is that enough? Can I do the weather now? Jesus! Is that enough? So yeah, briefly the newscaster says, and they lost one of their guns. Doesn't really get too much into detail about what happened. There's another part though, while we're progressing through the story, where Gene will start talking to us, and he'll explain a little bit more over what happened to Kenny. Check this out. Hey, Bounty Hunter! Oh, sorry, it's me, Gene. Didn't mean to startle you. I, I forgot you're not used to this radio feature yet. I'm just calling to say hey, and remind you to not drop any more of your guns. You're lucky we found Harper and that she's almost the same subspecies of Gatlian. Seriously, you gotta be more careful. These are living beings. Anyway, sorry to lecture. Uh, I don't want to be the annoying old fart. I'm one of the cool guys, part of the team. That's why I installed this radio feature, so I can just talk whenever. And nobody forgets I'm part of the team, ever. So yeah, right there he explained why Kenny is no longer around. We apparently lost him and luckily found this new Gatlian to replace him, which she has the same kind of attack as Kenny did. However, her humor isn't the same as Kenny. Good work, bounty hunter. You earned 50 XP for that battle. Don't worry, I'm keeping track of your XP in my head. I'm impressed you made it this far. My ant soldiers are extremely strong. Honestly, I don't think they were. We're new at this and it was pretty easy to kill them all. Anyways, lastly, there's another part though which explains and confirms what actually happened to Kenny, which I'm just gonna let you guys know. This is some spoilers that I'm gonna be showing because this literally happens at the very end of the DLC. So back out if you don't want to see this spoiler. But yeah, now since I got that out of the way, let me go ahead and play this part. What the hell is he talking about? Oh, he's been doing that since he punched by his homeworld and his people told him to get lost. Oh, jeez, Knifey. Hey, Knifey. Knifey! Huh? What? You doing okay, bud? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Knifey, I... I can't believe I'm saying this, but I love you, you psycho. We all do. You got your family right here. R really? Yeah, yeah, really. Don't make me repeat it. Sir, are you saying I can stab you again, maybe? Oh, Christ. Thanks, everyone. I love you guys. I'm gonna stab you now, Gene. Get ready. If we stab Gene three times, here's what he says. <laughs> love you too, buddy. Okay, stop it! That's enough! <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? You're not part of the family anymore. Bounty Hunter, go drop this knife where you dropped Kenny! So he wants us to go drop the knife where we dropped Kenny. I'm not exactly sure where we dropped him, and if Kenny will ever make a return. Who knows? He may return in the next game where we have to search for him or something. I don't know. But I do know there is a hint at another High on Life game. Check this out. One of the random items that you can find in the new DLC is an 8-ball. And if you go to the inventory and go over to Mundane and actually read the description for the 8-ball, it states this. Twice as powerful as a 4-ball. Used extensively in upcoming High on Life New Orleans DLC. So, I don't know if the developers are being serious about this or if this is just some little joke they decide to add in with this eight ball. Who knows exactly? But yeah, I hope you all found this video enjoyable as well as informative. I would love to know your guys' thoughts 
about Kenny being removed from the High on Knife DLC. Feel free to jot them down below in the comments. But yeah, I'm out of here, everyone. As always, thanks for taking the time, watching, and listening. Until next time, peace.